Hey everyone, here I am with another update, this time for WinUsoft, which is a simplified version of WinU Pro. All it does is translate your Nintendo controller input to a joystick, and this updates specifically for X input support. And here I have two Nintendo branded Wii U Pro controllers connected through the Toshiba Bluetooth stack, and open I have an alpha version of WinUsoft. It's all very early, so it probably won't look anything like it does right now. And let's go ahead and connect these controllers. And when I hit the connect button, it changes the LED status of the controller to that of the player number. So let's go ahead and test these out in a co-op split screen of Portal 2. And while this loads up here, I'd like to thank all of those who have donated on winupro.com. I really appreciate the support you guys have given, and as a thank you, I'd like to send you all stable alphas as I produce them, starting with this one that I'm showing here, so check your inboxes. Okay, so let's go ahead and navigate the menu here a little bit, just kind of test this out. And as you can see, it works all pretty well. And here you can see that the controller is enabled and connected. So let's go ahead and start up a co-op game. Right, so we just need to press X on the second player controller. Alright, so let's test one of these out. Player 2, joysticks are all working as expected, controller is responsive, and for player 1, it works just as well. And this game also supports force feedback, as you can see in the menu here. Make sure that's enabled. And let's see if I can get you guys a good visual for this. And uh, Legos are a good thing to have handy, apparently. So as you can see, when I hit the trigger, the Lego brick vibrates a little bit and the controller kind of moves and shakes rapidly. Let's see if I can get a better visual for this for you. You can see how it vibrates off a little bit. I was hoping that piece would fall off, but not really. So let's uh, also test out the second player controller. The rumble support for this method isn't quite as strong as the previous one I was working on, but it still works pretty good. And on the upside, it's compatible with a lot more games, and the input is a lot more responsive than it was previously. Previously it would lag every now and then, but that seems to be fixed now. So that's it for this update. Visit winupro.com for further updates and releases. This version isn't quite out yet, but it is available to donators currently, so check your inboxes. Thank you for watching and happy gaming.